you're dealing with a hiatal hernia, then you need to watch this. Let's go. What's up everybody? I'm Coach Zach and this is Critical Bench. In this video, we're talking about hiatal hernias again. If you haven't seen my first video where I give you specific exercises and routines to help treat your hiatal hernia, you can find that video right here. And I just wanna take a moment to say thank you. you know, uh, I never expected that video to get as much feedback and to help as much people as it really did. And seeing that, I never forgot that feeling. When I saw that it helped so many people in their lives, even doctors commenting that they now use that with their patients. I, I, that feeling doesn't compare with anything else. That I can live my passion and help share it with the world with helping others. So I just wanna thank you for that. Now getting into the video, there have been so many questions addressed regarding that first video that I just wanna take some time out to help answer some of these questions. So let me pull some of these questions up. One of the most common questions I get is, how can I exercise with a hiatal hernia? Well, before I get started, I just wanna say that I am not a doctor. I'm just a man who had a problem and who found a solution that worked for me. Now, having said that, I do have a degree in human performance. I am a corrective exercise specialist and a yoga teacher. So a lot of the tools that I've come across come from experience. When it comes to exercise, you know, I really believe that this is, uh, it depends. It depends on your personal circumstance. Now, I don't believe that if you have really bad symptoms and if your hiatal hernia is really bothering you, that you should lift heavy weights. I feel like if you do that, you might make it a little bit worse. And I definitely do not recommend using the Valsavia method, the drawing in maneuver, if you do deal with the hiatal hernia. Uh, again, it's up to your personal circumstance, but I feel like yoga, is a great way to exercise with a hiatal hernia to really help get that mobility, to help open you up and relax all those muscles around your midsection. And I have a phenomenal video about the core anatomy and how to train your core, your abs properly. If you wanna check out that video, just click right here. As other exercises, you know, running, if it's really bad, running may also cause you to feel more symptoms because of the constant up and down. Uh, it's just up to you, you know, you really wanna train your diaphragm, train your core. Uh, I don't have an answer for, for everyone because a lot of things in fitness, you know, the answer is it depends. Another question that I get all the time is, how long does it take to treat a hiatal hernia with the exercises that you showed? Well. You know, I think the principle that is at play here is the principle of self-care. You know, I still deal with symptoms of my hiatal hernia if I don't stay consistent with those exercises. So, you know, if, if you do it for a while and you get better and those symptoms improve, you know, you can take a little break and see how it feels. If it comes back, get right back to it. Those exercises I've shown you can be done anytime, anywhere. You know, you, it's mo much like exercise. You wouldn't just lift weights for a couple months and then say, I'm done. You know, I got my gains, that's it, I'm done. No, if the symptoms return, you return to it. You keep going back to those exercises because they will help. But the thing is, is that I can't really say that it's a cure. You know, you're not gonna necessarily cure your hiatal hernia. It will always be there, but you can treat it. And treatment is lifelong. So there's the answer for that. Just stick with it, you know throughout your life and you'll continue to get those benefits. Another question that I get is, when I eat, I get really bad GERD and acid reflex. What can I do? <laughs> Listen, I feel you on that, you know? Uh, even just recently, you know, due to quarantine, I really let a lot of my routines and a lot of my exercise habits, you know, drift away, lost a little bit of motivation and because of that, I started to feel some symptoms again. And this is what I noticed, and this can really help you. When I eat, and I feel rushed, or I feel stressed, or I'm watching TV, or if I'm on my phone, and I'm not focused on what I'm eating, and I'm pretty much inhaling my food, there's been times where food has just sat right there where the hernia is. 
and it sits there and I can't breathe, I can't swallow, it sits there and I have to make myself vomit. That has happened more times than I wish it had. Uh, so, you know, the solution that I found for that is mindful eating, especially if you're dealing with symptoms of a hiatal hernia, but really mindful eating can be for anyone. And that's the principle of when you eat, you take time just to eat. You're not watching TV, you're not on your phone, you're just there with your food, enjoying each bite, breathing, slowly eating. You know, something I found was I take a bite, I chew it, and I won't take another bite until I've already swallowed that bite. And doing this, eating slow, consciously, relaxed, not stressed, agitated, watching the news or anything, that has helped me to not deal with that GERD, not deal with that acid reflex when eating. Because that's a big symptom, a big problem with people with a hiatal hernia. So, solution for that is mindful eating. The next question I have is, what else can I do to help treat my hiatal hernia? Well, here I have a couple things for you. So, there are two supplements that I would suggest. One of them is magnesium oil. Now the thing about magnesium is it's extremely important for your body. It is what helps your muscles relax. A lot of people, a lot of athletes especially who deal with muscle spasms, uh, they take magnesium. They take Epsom salt baths, which are magnesium baths. The problem with magnesium is if you take it orally in the form of a capsule or a pill, it's not that bioavailable unless you get very specific forms, which is why I recommend magnesium oil for two reasons. One, magnesium is absorbed throughout your skin very well, you know, because your skin is an organ and your skin absorbs everything you put on it. And two, you can place it in spots that you want to be relaxed. So for me, I take my magnesium oil, you know, I suggest uh, the brand Ancient Minerals. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, it's just the one that I use. I take that oil, I spray it along my diaphragm, along my abs, and I rub it in. You know, I do this at night, I do it in the morning, and what I find is after about 10 minutes, allowing it to, to get into my body, I find that my whole diaphragm, my whole breathing apparatus is more relaxed is more calm, less tense, and the symptoms of that hiatal hernia are less prominent, you know? So magnesium oil, I recommend. Another supplement, again, I'm not affiliated, I'm not a doctor, it's just what I use, is lobelia extract. Now lobelia is a herb. It's an herb that is used to treat so many things from asthma, any respiratory problems, but when it comes to hiatal hernia, Lobelia is a herb that helps relax your diaphragm, your ribs, your intercostals, all the muscles that are responsible for your breathing. And what I found, the way that I like to use lobelia, is in the mornings, I take lobelia in the tincture, 20 milligrams to start, you know, you can uh, base it off of that later on, but I would start with 20 milligrams. And you put it in water, it's a tincture, you drink it, in a warm water, and then you go do the trampoline exercises or the heel drops that I showed you in that first video. Because that allows that muscles to be extra relaxed, you know, not only from the warm water in your stomach as a weight, but also to relax all the muscles around to fully let that stomach sink back to its proper place. And the final thing that I'm gonna show you that can help treat your hiatal hernia is a Qigong move. If you're not familiar with Qigong, it's an ancient Chinese practice. You can think of it as Chinese yoga, in a sense. And it's based around traditional Chinese medicine. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that for you right now. This Qigong technique combines a self-massage move along with the healing sound for your stomach. In Qigong, there are specific sounds that correspond to your organs. And Qigong, again, is based in traditional Chinese medicine. So the sound we're gonna be using is ho, H-O-O-O. -O -O. Just really get it as deep as you can. So it's a ho. The technique we're gonna be using is you're gonna be using your hands, almost like blades. You're gonna take a deep inhale. Again, you wanna do the left side because your stomach is on the left. You know, a hiatal hernia causes your stomach to rise, so we're gonna bring it down. Deep inhale, place your fingers 
gently, no forcing, you know, you don't want to hurt yourself, be gentle with yourself. Inside right here, take a deep breath in, and on your exhale, you're going to come down and down the left and almost hook it in as you bend over with the sound. So it looks like this. And then at the very end, you're going to take your hands and back up. Oh. Again, gentle. If you find any tender spots, which you might most likely if you are experiencing a hiatal hernia, be very gentle in those tender spots and maybe you hold it there and take a few more breaths in that bent over position using that healing stomach sound. Again, this is the Qi Gong healing sound for your hiatal hernia. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this video helps you out. Uh, like I said, thank you again for all the positive feedback and letting me know that that first video helped you. It really makes me feel good when I can see that I'm having a positive impact by just sharing what worked for me. So if you haven't seen that first video yet, I highly suggest you watch it. You can find that right here. I also highly suggest that you find that core video that really breaks it down and gives you the tools to build a three-dimensional core. Find that right here and I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me.